will be making Love Spell Scented Goat Milk Soap. Got my lovely assistant videotaping for me for a change. Normally I'm in here alone trying to prop stuff up and make it work and rig it the last couple times. But today, I am lucky enough to have an extra set of hands around here. So once we get this lie all set, we'll get going on that. Try to move, scoot this along. Because we've been ready to make soap since, what, like one o'clock? <laughs> and lo and behold, but the freezer, I've got a fridge that's dying on me. And the freezer had not frozen my milk. So we've been waiting on milk to freeze, which sounds terribly exciting, I know. And it is, let me tell you most exciting point of my day but on the bright side I've come across a recipe for bath melts that we're going to try in a little while and since I don't have a tub we have a shower but no tub whoever built this place left that part out because I guess they're anti-bath people who knows um I'm supposing that's what they were but I will be sending my assistant home with some bath melts to try out and let me know how that goes that's one thing I've never done. Can't be that hard, but we'll see. We shall see. So this is almost ready, almost all melted down. It's getting a little dark, a little hot, a little fast. The milk was more slushy than froze. I normally start with it frozen solid. We are still here at Not A Lot Of Ranch waiting on baby goats to kid to come. Got two does that are pregnant. Their due date is actually today. So I figure if I'm really, really lucky, mid-video we'll have to stop and go deliver a baby. I don't know that I'm going to be that lucky, but it would be nice. So we'll strain that in. It's a little warmer than I would like, but we'll work with it. Just got to work with it. My, my videographer does not know. She's never made soap before, but as a warning, the lye is very, very caustic, so all these things with lye in them, don't touch them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I have gloves on, but she doesn't because she is videotaping. So, stick one a second here. Anyway, she doesn't have any gloves on, so we don't want her getting a lye burn. She's a safe enough distance away. As long as I don't send anything flying, she'll be okay. <laughs> and if you see me still jump backwards real quick. <laughs> but, no, I'm just playing. We should be okay. I mean, everybody's got their moments and the gremlins come and whatnot, but I think we'll be okay. So, in with the fragrance. This is Love Spell. Love Spell usually behaves pretty well. I'm not really worried about it. Doing anything wonky or crazy. So we'll be scenting the whole betta. And I had made actually for the Great Cake Soap Works soap challenge this year that she just did. We just wrapped that up. Um, I had made for the leopard spots, my first batch was Love Spell. And then things got a little crazy with the second batch if you read the blog. A little scary, Ooga Booga. Spilled a whole bunch. Had a creepy, ucky night all around. So, oh, that's not good. It's a little more batter than my blender can handle here. <laughs> but, anyways, pour that off. What I was saying was, I had made a batch with leopard spots that came out perfect, and I had made another batch with more of a Celine swirl because I ended up not having enough stuff to do the leopard spots again after I spilled all my colored batter on the floor. It was lovely. So I figured this time I'll go ahead and stick with that Celine swirl because it came out really pretty just all around. Very lovely. <clears throat> and it lends itself better to my super thick style of soaping 
my focus just never thin. I'm just not a thin, thin trace, thin batter kind of person. This is some sparkle gold mica, just mixed in a little oil from the Brambleberry.com website. The love spell is actually, yeah, we'll do a little more. The love spell is actually from, it's loving spell type from Nature's Garden that we are using. So, so I just want this to have a little bit of a yellow to it. I might end up putting all of it in, we'll see. Hard to tell with these glasses on. They're a little foggy. But I think we're going to end up going whole hog on the yellow there. I was going to use it in the next batch of soap, but I can mix up more yellow. It's not the end of the world. Just mix some soap in there and get that all out. We laughed about someone else doing this like a million times last <laughs> night on a YouTube video. We were like, dang. But now here I am. This stuff ain't cheap. It don't come free, Lord knows. The worst part is the shipping. So you have to have everything trucked in. I kind of wish we'd move to like Washington or Ohio or wherever all the suppliers are so I could just go pick it up. But until that time comes, which I don't see ever happening. I am stuck paying an arm and a leg for shipping on a lot of stuff. Which, that's fine, but... You do what you gotta do. And then what did I say I wanted? Did I want pink or purple? You didn't say. I didn't say, did I? I no. wanted purple and I remember. I have a whole bunch of colors mixed up because after this, the next batch is gonna be a remake of fruit salad, my cucumber melon scent. And so I'm ready to do everything. Which is confusing a wee bit. That is just ultramarine purple and this that one. This one is the Merlot Sparkle Mica. Pretty. Oh, thank you. It's one of my favorites. It comes out this really pretty red pink color. It's not a true red, but it's red we know. that all blended in. I know I should be using like a whisk and blah blah blah. I'm a super blender. I like to blender. I don't have patience to whisk stuff in. Trying to decide if that's purple enough. I think it is. water on the side here. I'm just going to rinse a little bit. Make that easier to clean up between batches. Wipe all the raw soap up that I'm flinging everywhere. Call me pigskin. So, keep those aside. Throw this away. Grab the mold. Had this mold ready for like two days. <laughs> I was ready to make this soap. Just been waiting. I knew my assistant was coming this weekend, so I've just been waiting for her to get here. So that way she could see the soap miracle. Because somehow she's never gotten to see it. Doing this one. <laughs> Tedious, slow process to soap making. I'm trying to work quick er, to kind of shorten up the video some because I know I tend to have these like 
30 minutes dope making videos. Oh, we have to. I know, right? We got all day. <laughs> Waiting on that goat to have those babies. <laughs> but the other thing I have discovered is I like trying to decide if I want to do that. It's not very yellowy. It's just a little more yellowy than it started. But I discovered when I had the blowout, as it were, and I spilled all my batter and ended up just swirling stuff together, it looked really kind of cool and wispy. So maybe we'll go for a little more of that look I had that time. Now see, any other day if I was going for thick soap, I would have super thin soap. And since today I wanted it a little thinner, I mean, this is actually a pretty good consistency for what I'm doing. But still, I never get what I want. I jinx it. Kind of like I wanted baby goats this morning first thing so we could be <laughs> done with it. And she was looking all ready for it, and then I jinxed it. We waited too long to go to the store today, I think is the problem. We should have just stayed gone. I would have come home and I would have had twin girls times two, I hope. Because that's the thing with dairy goats. You almost always want girls. I do have a lady that wants a buck if I get one, which is cool. I kind of hope for her I do. But me, myself, and I, I have a deposit down on one dough kid if I get one, because we don't know what we're getting yet. And me, myself, and I want a dough for myself to retain. So, we'll see. Never know what we're going to get. Save a little bit of that. Kind of like that white between the pink. What do you think? Mm hmm Nice. Just gonna go in here. Oh, it smells so good. I love the smell. <laughs> like my favorite thing about soaping. I mean, all there's a ton of other fragrances that are freaking delicious. But the love spell is really the absolute best one. And everybody loves it. Everybody buys it. It it moves quick. So I find that I'm in here making it a lot too. Much like pig pen, I now have soap batter all over my glove here. I can feel it. My right hand's getting slippery, which is why I wear gloves. And it's good to wear them. Some people can soap with like out hardly make it a mess at all. That's not me. I'm a mess. It's what I do. But. And I guess if you're one of those people that can keep your hands out of stuff, that's good. Uh-oh, I got a fly. At the farm, we get those sometimes. Circling <laughs> my head. I have news for him. I'm fixing to find the lacquer and get him. <laughs> the murderous thing. My husband says I'm always killing stuff. Like when we had the... We had not one, but two raccoons. Well, really three. You know, I'm out there one night milking. And out of nowhere, this raccoon just, like, pops up behind me. The goat kept looking. I kept looking. There's a raccoon back there. Like, within a foot of me. So I made James come out and kill it. Because once they find the buffet over here, they're in your feed and blah, blah, blah. You can't have that. Plus, anything brave enough like that to come up by people can't be good. And, uh, out here. Now, y'all in the city, y'all are used to raccoons coming up. Out here, we've got plenty of other stuff. So here we go with the swirl. Oh, well, I'll tap it after I swirl it. Anyways, out here, yes, raccoons have 
plenty of other places to call the buffet and to stay out from underneath of me. And I would appreciate if they would. So we handled that. Then, like seriously, a week later, the neighbor calls me freaking out. They moved to the woods, but they are not gun people. I mean, I don't want to say we're gun people, but, I mean, my husband hunts a little bit. And uh, we do have a few firearms. Well, my neighbor's not a gun person, which is cool, you know. But she had a raccoon in her driveway. Okay, i got to get this off my hands. Where did I put the paper towels? <laughs> um, anyways, she had a raccoon in her driveway, and it was clearly sick. And more than likely, what she was dealing with there was one with distemper. Which, yes, is bad, but if not, I'm going to go tap this down right quick. It's not like rabies, you know. It's not the same. So, went down there. Attempted to help her get rid of it. We ended up having, it went up in a spot where I couldn't get it. It was up behind like an air compressor and stuff up in front of her house. I didn't want to shoot a hole in her house or anything like that because my aim is not that good. My aim is not that bad. My aim is not that good. So the a sheriff came out and finally dispatched it because it was sick. There's no saving it, you know. Um, that's the other thing they say when critters come up like that, oftentimes it's because they're sick or whatever. She just don't want to leave them lingering. And then like another week or two later, here comes another one, crawls up in my feed room, right in front of me. It wasn't acting real hot to it, like it knew what was going on. It was acting a little lethargic. So I waited till my husband come home, and he took that one out too, because that one was not another. Another one was just not healthy. It was not right, and we handled that. Oh, show! It was. It just had to go. <laughs> and then seriously, like a week later, if you follow the blog, I go outside. I can't even remember at the moment what I was doing. But on my way back into the house, there's a freaking possum, a tiny baby possum. Like, it would have fit in the palm of my hand. Mm. It's cute. And four of my barn cats had it trapped under the truck. <laughs> okay, well, that clearly, someone, one of them cats, had gotten that thing away from its mama, whatever. Because it was still the size where it would have been with its mother. So... I run off the cats, and I scooped it up, and took it down to the neighbor, and because they've got, she's had some experience with the savings of wildlife, like that, and it had at least a comfortable two or three days before it finally passed, but it did pass, it did make it, I'm sure it probably had a ton of internal injuries, and it did have a little, like a stab wound, like a bite wound from the cat on its neck. But it has been the season for the wildlife, which ironically enough until recently has not been a big problem for us. Clean some of that up. But I don't even know what the point of that was, like why I was telling you that story. Maybe you can remember today. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, you're just telling stories. <laughs> uh, I was just talking to talk. But anyway, so I layered everything. I swirled it with the spoon. Now I'm trying to decide, do I want to go ziggy-zaggy across the top? I guess. Like that. Kind of mummy. Ooh, that looks pretty cool, huh? Mm-hmm.
<laughs> I try not to be an over poker. <laughs> I know, right? I'm scratch that in there. Glitter, I think. Yeah. I have some fuchsia glitter. And that's not going to be... Yeah, I know. I took the glasses off, but I'm just trying to... It's not going to be real yellow yellow. I probably could have put like 10 times more yellow in there, so... Mm -hmm. That's okay. He's okay. I like the fuchsia glitter with the purple and the pink. What do you think? It's nice. I probably should have gone clear with this glitter. I, or just plain iridescent. I don't think it's really clear with this. Right. Because it shines back colors at you. That's what I forgot to order. I forgot to order some more glitter with this and no. I had to run in. That's another one if you read my blog. I had to run in with someone. And he wasn't trying to like joke or be cute. Like, I'm I'm a pretty good judge of character. I'm a pretty good judge of what people are trying to do. And I'm a smart aleck. I admit it. So I can tell when someone's just being a smart aleck and having fun. When they're being a jerk. And he had already made a bunch of people mad. Redneck. Stupid question, but like, does the glitter like rub off on you or whatever? Nope. Washes off. When I when I go to wash my hands, I'll show you. It just comes right off. It rinses right off the soap. Mm -hmm. So it rinses right off of everything. I'd be worried about having like hair all over me or whatever. Nope. I mean, it's actually a very little bit if you look at what's on there. Mm -hmm. Like mostly I just get it to stick to my immaculately clean and then gloved hands before I, like it's just a smooch that I rub off. It's really not very much. I've used this tiny little bag. I can't tell you how many times already on this earth. A lot. <laughs> a lot. So anyways, oh yeah, so the, the redneck, let me finish the redneck story. He come being a smarty aleck about the, the glitter. So for a while there I was kind of put off of using my glitter, but as you can see, I'm back at it. I love some glitter. So this is Love Spell. Just a remake. Fresh batch. Because I'm the other ones are they move. So anyways, that's it. The end. Red button.